You know who has over 20 body piercings? Kristen. And Rain. Yeah. We both. Yeah. Together we have over 100, I guess. Well, we had 20, so four. We have over 40. We have over 40 if you add ours together. Uh, all together. Tell me about some poor foods. Yes, Thank poor you. foods. We, we're going to talk about poor foods today. Um, I used to be poor. I still am. Same. I mean, I'm not rich by any means. But uh, when I remember when I first got the job that I have now, <clears throat> I was hired as a temp, and I, I had to use most of my first paycheck to pay for, like, all the uh, application fees and the initiation fees for all these different things for like, um, I didn't even have internet at first, but I had to pay like the, the what's the down payment called for your rent? The, um, oh no. That first payment you make when you, you know, the, the, uh, the first and last month, you have to pay the first and last month. I did do all that with my first paycheck. So I didn't really have any money left over with my first paycheck, but I had to eat for two weeks. Mm -hmm. So I had to eat really poor foods. And one thing that I discovered that you can do cheaply, um, like the macaroni and cheese. Okay. All you need for it is like milk and butter and the packet. Right. <clears throat> now that gets boring after a while. Mm -hmm. So one thing I like to do is I like to add tuna. And so you have macaroni and cheese with tuna in it and it tastes awesome. You should try it. You like tuna? I like tuna. It's really good. Because it's kind of like tuna helper at that point. Oh, no. There you go. He turned it all around and you made a new dish. Yeah. It's kind of like tuna helper. It tastes so good. Huh. I would eat this no matter how much money I had. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you, so you're saying it's that good where, like, even w <clears throat> just on your top payday, you're going to still eat some. I haven't in a while because my wife doesn't like tuna very much. Okay. And plus, we don't eat a lot of mac and cheese because it's very unhealthy and we're trying to eat healthier. Good. But I'm just saying, like, it, no matter how much money I, I make someday, which probably won't be a lot because I have no skills, um, no matter how much money I made someday, like, if, if I, like, if Carmen wasn't around and I was just left to my own devices and I saw a thing of macaroni and cheese and a can of tuna, I might you be like, I'm going to have myself some macaroni and cheese and tuna. You should find a name for that. Think about it. I was going to say a name, but I, I don't want that dish to be named after me. So yeah, I'll think of something so else. Get, get a good name for that dish because that's something that I don't know if it could be sold. Comment below what you think a good name for that give dish us, should be. Yeah, give us some good names. Yeah. What are some poor foods that you like? Okay. Um, or that you don't like that you just eat when you're poor. Okay, I wouldn't say maybe there's certain foods that I eat when I'm poor. Obviously, it's the basic ramen noodles. You know ramen. Let's just get... And you just add a couple more extra seasonings to that. Mm -hmm. You got your full meal. And you're always full because you imagine you did a little something. Add some hot sauce in there. So you feel like you had a big old meal. Where do you get extra seasoning packets from? Oh, no. You put seasoning from your cabinet. Oh. Yes. I can't even remember. There's like, um, it's not like topical seasoning. But there's some good seasoning that you can put. Do a couple of dash, dash, dash. My sister adds hot sauce, so we have some hot sauce in there. Give a little spice to yourself. We recently bought Cholula, and I mean, it's not like I've never had Cholula before, uh -huh. but having it there on the table, I put it in everything. Yeah. Once you see it, you're gonna eat it. Yeah. That's you know. True. But I know when my parents sometimes, um, I guess, didn't think we needed food or just kind of ate themselves and forgot about us. My sister would make us burgers, and she would make us little burger patties because, you know, parents didn't want you to be using on the meat. So she would get us just enough to get us, like, two burgers each, those three of us. And um, she would take ham, uh, not hamburger, because sometimes I forgot the hamburger buns. We would take just regular white bread, and she would cut you a little, <laughs> a little burger bun out of that. Put some butter on there, toast the bread, and then maybe she would we find some chips or some tortilla chips because you never actually had a flavored chip. It would always be some weird, but it would be, f it just, it's filling. So I always, yeah, it is really good. Yeah. Actually, she was a great cook. Yeah, sounds like I miss it. you. I'm hungry. <laughs> no, um, but uh, Taco Bell, the dollar menu, That's good eight, answer. nine cent, five layer burrito, mm -hmm. share it with you and your friend. Yeah. and. You call it a day. 
Yeah. Now I was I never did like a tuna mac and cheese kind of deal. That's kind of throwing me off right now. Okay, let me tell you about one that might not throw you off. Now, when I was growing up, I wasn't poor by any means. My, my, my dad right. was pretty well providing for the family. Um, but there were five boys in the house, and we oh, were man. bottomless, right? And I don't mean pantsless, although we were that a lot, yeah, too. That hurt. I mean, like, we had, we could just eat and eat and eat. Oh, okay. And, one, and so my mom had to try to keep up with that. And one thing that I remember my mom making several times that I actually kind of want to make now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> She would take a hot dog, split it, and put it, you know, with the flat sides up. On top of that, mashed potatoes. On top of that, cheddar cheese. Put it in the oven, bake it. That kind of actually sounds good. I right? Love, I love a mashed potato. <laughs> wow. It was so good. And I want one now, kind of. And what kind of mashed, is it like a garlic mashed potato, or is it was just... Regular mashed potatoes. Hmm. You can, you can use the flavor, I'm sure. Um, when I was growing up, my mom, um, she made the mashed potatoes to be the thing that you've added flavor to, like the cheese or whatever. Because if you put garlic mashed potatoes, not everything goes with whatever you might put in right. there. So she generally made them, you know, she made them like by right. hand. She wouldn't use like oh. flakes or anything. She, made, mm -hmm. she would boil potatoes and mash them and everything. Put Man. You know, milk and stuff in them. I couldn't, I mean, that's um. I love you, mom. You're the best. She, You're, she's, I bet, I can only imagine. I've yeah. never met her, but she seems awesome. Yeah. Because I couldn't make any mashed potatoes. I'm going to have to pass that on, and maybe we're just not having mashed potatoes in our house. I will post the recipe. Please. For you guys, even though I already told you and it sounds easy. Yeah. I'll post it. <laughs> I may have forgotten. What was that again? You know, things like that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a good poor food that you had. Yeah. That's I a don't... good poor food, right? And, and again, we weren't poor. But... Sometimes you... But it was, it was a way to keep up with five boys. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Yeah. And then your friends all came over, so she knew. They did. She knew We would just deal. bring them over and say, hey, eat our food. Yeah, and that's what you did. And she, here's a hot dog, mashed potato cheese, get out of my face. Yep. That's pretty much what she was telling me. You were there? I think so. That's exactly what my mom sounds like. <laughs> yeah, I think she's the one, I think I got kicked out one day. You probably did. Probably. From mouthing off. Probably. And not using words right. Thank you for watching this video <laughs> and putting up with our amazing wisdom. Um, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Um, it's easy to do and it doesn't cost you anything, so why not? And please like this video if you enjoyed it. And please comment below what foods you like to eat when you are poor. There are a lot of very cheap foods out there. It is very possible to eat on a very small budget if you really if you do it right. Mm -hmm. um, Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, if you're if you're if you're uh, trying our if you're trying our recipes, let us know what you thought. Have a good one.